Hey guys, Virgil here. In this video, I want to talk about one of the most important exercises and elements to master Figma, map, and that is learning the shortcuts. Now, in order to make this easier for you, I actually created a free cheat sheet with all of my favorite essential shortcuts for Figma so that you can revise at your own pace and you can download it by clicking the link in the description. Now that being said, I want to essentially take a moment to talk about this thing which I don't really see many designers focus on, especially as they're first starting out in their career. But in my opinion, it's one of the essentials that are going to differentiate you from a junior designer to a seasoned designer or lead designer because being efficient and fast in your workflow is one of the most important things, especially if you're going to become a freelancer or you're simply looking to tackle and take on as many projects as you can in a given time frame. Now, I understand at the same time that speed isn't anything, but in my world, efficiency is and even if uh, you're not uh, specifically looking to improve uh, and learn all of the shortcuts uh, for just saving a few minutes here and there, which by the way, are going uh, to add up uh, in the course of months uh, and years. Uh, in terms of efficiency, it's uh, such a, a crucial element because uh, it's going to make it easier for you to work in Figma. And uh, this applies uh, throughout uh, all of the softwares. Even when I was learning uh, Webflow a couple of years ago, one of the first things uh, that uh, I actually took some time to practice uh, was the keyboard shortcuts because I know that uh, apart from the speed aspect, uh, it uh, was uh, one of the elements that would make me feel comfortable inside of uh, the software and uh, I wouldn't have to think each and every time of, uh, oh, how do I do this? And uh, I have to like click into all sorts of different sub menus and uh, uh, always uh, being uh, just, just not feeling that uh, sense of uh, power and control on the tool. So this is one of the elements which I highly recommend you to practice. And the way that I would do it uh, wouldn't be in uh, a big uh, sprint. So take it one step at a time, uh, even practicing uh, for five minutes a day, even before you jump on uh, a project. So for example, you can open up Figma and uh, simply do five minutes of exercises reviewing uh, these uh, keyboard shortcuts uh, and uh, really making sure that you're absorbing uh, these notions uh, so that they can become second nature for you and uh, make your workflow easier. And again, I know that this is just one piece of the puzzle. So I invite you to check out my other videos on uh, since I'm a designer with over a decade of experience and uh, I'm uh, doing these videos for free. I have hundreds and hundreds of videos so you can learn uh, Figma from scratch uh, uh, entirely for free and uh, again if you wanted to access uh, this uh, free cheat sheet uh, I'm going to leave uh, the link in the description so that's pretty much it uh, for this video highly invite you to consider learning uh, keyboard shortcuts and uh, master them so that uh, you can work uh, more fast uh, but most importantly more efficiently and uh, essentially focus uh, on uh, the bigger picture of a project and uh, don't being uh, limited uh, and uh, by the technical side of things. So I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please leave a like and I'll see you with more Figma tutorials very soon.